Okay, hello. Thanks for joining our <coughs> Learn AutoCAD Plan 3D in minutes. Lesson 8 on how to create 3D piping at fitting and at valve. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to learn on how to create a 3D modeling using Plan 3D. 3D modeling piping for using Plan 3D. So over here, when you want to create a 3D piping, so normally we will create a new drawing. So in this area one, I only have equipment drawing and structural drawing. So I just need to right click, new drawings, type PP. PP is stand for piping 001. Hit OK. So since I need to have reference for my piping, so what can I do? I can just directly use external reference to reference back my equipment and structural drawing into my piping drawing. So using command xref, 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 so just here, xref, okay, xref, then what can I do? I can just directly insert my external reference over here. So just attach back the drawing to here. So in this case, we are going to focus on how to create a piping. So in this case, I just try to leave it my drawing empty first. So for this case, I want to change the size to one size. So just hit whatever size and make sure that I use a proper size. On here, I can choose my spec. For example, this case are CS300, stand for status steel 300 with project class 300. Or if I want to change the next one with a 600 project class, just change here. Okay, for the line number, I can click here to assign the line number. So just hit line number, root new line number. So this, one, I want to change into 1001 line number. Hit assign. So I also can insert a text for the line number. So this piping, what can I do when I click insert? Okay, first click, it will appear something like this. So in this case, if I want to insert a value, just change the value. So just change here, for example, 5000. So in, if I want to go up, so I need to use two step. Either I can click P, enter to change the plane, or I can also click control, right click from my mouse. So they will have two options. Either we click control, right click, or P, enter. Both are able to change the direction. So this one, I want to make it 2000. Go to here, another 2000. So if I want to insert any item, any 3D piping or any fitting here, so I can just directly look for the fitting. So for this case, I want to insert a T. So just look for a T. So this T stands for T, the short description, BV, the join, 40. So and this will be the spec. So when I click on this, then it will appear a T. So in my screen, on the screen, they will have option to click next. So next is stand for if I want to change the point of insertion. Okay, so for example, I prefer to go to here with this view. So this will be my point. So if I want to change again and again. So this will be the orientation. So after I mouse over to the piping, they will have more button that can I choose I can choose B for the base point and for the orientation. So since this object are T, so which is the object is quite symmetric. So then for the orientation we cannot see any difference. Okay, so in this case I want to change the dimension if I want to move from the three three five zero zero to one five three three. So I just press tab. 
So what if if I want to have more option the distance from this fitting from this T to the elbow? So I can click on C for the base component. Over here, they will have C for the base component. C, enter. Select the base component. Now I have a lot more option for, for the elbow, from the elbow. Okay, they will have a lot more option here. So now I can press tab if I will require to have distance from here. So 1500, enter. So click here. So I repeat, if I want to insert more, for example, this ball valve, okay, for this ball valve, if I want to use the orientation, later you can see the different on the handle, okay, on the operator for the valve. Okay, now I want to make sure that this valve have a specific distance from the T. So just use C, enter. So my reference will be the T and move here. So now I can also change B to change the base point. So now I will have a lot more information that I can change from the VAR to the T. So in this case, I want to change the value. I want to insert the value 1000 from the end VAR to the end of the T. So this will be the result. So that's how we work with on how to insert something. So what if, if I want to insert something that at the end of the object? So if I want to draw something and then suddenly I want to insert directly, want to insert the T or I want directly to insert the valve so I can just select the object. It will automatically insert the T or insert the object, the fitting that we choose. So once everything done, 500, it will insert or you can directly rotate the object. So now you can continue to create your pipe. So in this case, I want to insert a lot more OLED. So in this spec that I use, they only have a soccer OLED. So for this OLED, I can just specify to insert where is the OLED location, okay, which is here. If I want to change the location from this elbow, so just insert then choose whatever distance that I require, 400, and where is the OLED location. For the second one, C, the OLED to OLED. Okay, so this will be the distance from first OLED to second OLED, 150 to here. Okay, and then the third one, C again from this one. Okay, and then this one also 150 to top one. So the distance between each OLED is 150. So why I how I know? Because I set the distance based on component. So once I already done with this thing, I can click, they will have plus symbols to continue creating a pipe. So I can just directly create the pipe for my OLED. So same goes to here, create pipe for my OLED. So that's how it works for piping. Okay, so in this case, if you require to have a very long pipe, okay, so what you can do, you can just directly create a new pipe. Okay, for example, I have a 30 meter pipe. So this pipe will be 30 meter, which is a 30000. Okay, and I have two pipe with the same length. 30000. The first one, I want to add well every six meter. So what can I do? I can just click, press right click, add well to pipe. So now I can simply insert the value 6,000 for six meter. The second one also need to insert 6,000. Okay, the third one, 6,000. And another 6,000. Okay, so this will be piping with well. So as you can see here, they will have well point for this six meter piping. So what if, if I want to insert flanges for each pipe, every six meter? So just click flange. So make sure that you choose a proper base point. 
Okay, so now I would like to change to shaded or shaded with edge. Shaded with edge. So choose flanges. So proper base point, which is over here, I want to click B, press B. Okay, and then N to rotate it. So the value that I require, which is from the end, B here from the end. So this one will be 6,000. Okay, just need to enter 6,000 value. Okay, to continue more, so just repeat the same process. Okay, make sure that you choose the proper component as your reference. So this will be my component. Again, C, this will be my component. Okay, over here, I can specify the value of 6,000. Okay, so just repeat another process. C from here. So the value will be 6,000. So that's how we work with on how to create a 3D piping, insert fitting, and valve. Okay, don't forget to join more our free online courses. Learn AutoCAD Plan 3D in minutes. So see you in the next video.